Hi, so I'm going to quickly just go over the seven uh, things that I do um, as part of my workout. Um, I posted a reel, it'll be today or yesterday, depending on when I post this. Um, first, being foam rolling, um, really good for sort of making your muscles more pliable. Um, they can absorb force easier, um, so less likely to get muscle injuries, joint injuries, tendon injuries, all that sort of stuff. Um, number two, um, you muscle activation exercises. Um, these can range from, you know, doing stuff with the cables or just sort of doing some dynamic movements. Um, depending on what you're training, if you're doing bench bench press, obviously there's certain ones for that, different ones for pull-ups, different ones for squats. Um, third, you want to do some warm-up cardio. Um, just five minutes, just gets the heart rate going, means that the blood pumps around the body, gets the muscles ready for exercise. Four, that's when you want to do the main part of your workout, as in like the mus muscular stuff, the resistance exercises, body weight stuff. Um, I tend to do like five to six exercises. Um, any more than that, I think you kind of, your intensity dips a little bit and you're not going to be able to like really max out. Um, after that, four, uh, five, after that five, um, you do a cool down cardio again. Uh, depends kind of what you're doing. I like to do um, cross training for most things. If it's like upper body day, um, kind of just gets the arms moving and stuff. Um, if it's a leg day, I quite often do the bike throw in a few sprints as well really get the legs working get the blood um, pumping um and then after that dynamic stretching number six uh not dynamic static stretching key difference there um you don't want to do statics before exercise because static stretches are gonna like sort of stretch out the muscle a little bit obviously and they're gonna mean that you won't be able to get as much power in your exercises so you won't be as strong as if you um just don't do them after did that make sense it might have made sense um, but yeah, static stretches after exercise, not before, unless, you know, you're feeling really tight, you don't sort of regularly stretch, it might be a good idea to do them. Um, I've had, when I've worked with a football team in the past, the players admitted that they didn't really do a lot of stretching in the week. So I kind of thrown some dynamic stretches in with the, the static stretches in their warm up, um, just to kind of get the best and like get, yeah, they felt more comfortable doing that. Seven, just another foam roll, gets your muscles, you know, they're going to tighten up during, um, resistance exercise, so lifting weights, your muscles are going to sort of tighten up a little bit. Um, foam roller is going to help sort of loosen them again, I mean you're less likely to get injured. Um, yeah, make them more pliable, make them more resistant to injury, impacts, they absorb force. Right, that is it. Um, yeah, I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, comment down below. Um, also, if you think I've missed anything, if there's something that you add into your routine, uh, let me know as well and I'll sort of, you know, Give my opinion and maybe maybe add it to my own routine i'm still not perfect i'm still learning every day so let me know comment down below thank you see you later